20 Best Things to Do in Madrid Madrid is the capital of Spain and the most populous city. The city has a population of about 3.4 million and the metropolitan area has a population of about 6.7 million. It is the second largest city in the European Union. 1. Plaza Mayor Plaza Mayor, English, Town Square, is an important public square in the center of Madrid, the capital of Spain. It used to be the center of Madrid's old town. 2. El Retiro Park, Parque del Buen Retiro El Retiro Park, Parque del Buen Retiro, is literally the park of the Pleasant Retreat and is one of the largest parks in the city of Madrid, Spain. The site houses gardens, statues and other monuments, galleries, artificial lakes and venues for various events. The park is completely surrounded by today's city. 3. Prado Museum, Museo Nacional del Prado Prado Museum, Museo Nacional del Prado, is Spain's main national museum and is located in the center of Madrid. It is widely recognized as one of the best collections of European art in the world. 4. Gateway of the Sun, Puerta del Sol Gateway of the Sun, Puerta del Sol, is a public square, one of Madrid's most famous and busiest squares. This is the center of the radial network of roads in Spain. There is also a famous clock in the square, whose bell marks the beginning of the new year with a traditional meal of 12 grapes. 5. Royal Palace of Madrid, Palacio Real The Royal Palace of Madrid, Spanish, Palacio Real de Madrid, is the reputable house of the Spanish royal owned circle of relatives on the metropolis of Madrid, despite the fact that now used best for country ceremonies. The palace is now open to the public, except during state functions. 6. Tyson Borne Miss National Museum The Tyson Borne Miss National Museum, or simply Tyson, is a museum in Madrid, Spain, near the Prado Museum on one of the city's main boulevards. Known as part of the Golden Triangle of Art, including the Prado Museum and the Reina Sofia National Museum. 7. Barrio de Salamanca Salamanca is one of the city's most exclusive districts, and its main streets Calle de Serrano, Calle de Goya and Cali Velázquez are some of the most expensive. Calle de Serrano is called the Golden Mile because it is dotted with luxury brands. 8. Mercado de San Miguel Mercado de San Miguel, English, the Market of San Miguel, is a covered market in Madrid, Spain. Located in the heart of Madrid, just a few minutes walk from Plaza Mir, it is Madrid's most popular market among tourists. 9. Gran Via Gran Via, Great Way, Street is located in the center of Madrid, Spain. Calle de Alcalá near Plaza de Sabels leads to Piazza de España. Sometimes referred to as the Broadway of Spain, this street is one of the city's main shopping streets, with many hotels and cinemas. 10. Matadero Madrid Matadero Madrid is the location of the former slaughterhouse El Matadero y Mercado Municipal de Ganados, English, Municipal Slaughterhouse and Cattle Market, in the Arganzuela district of Madrid. Matadero Madrid offers travelers the opportunity to see many of the creative aspects of the city in one place, as artists can install or perform their work on approximately 700,000 square meters. 11. Bernabeu Stadium, Estadio Santiago Bernabeu Santiago Bernabeu Stadium is a soccer stadium in Madrid, Spain. With a current capacity of 81,044, it has been the home stadium of Real Madrid since its completion in 1947. 12. Casa de Campo Casa de Campo is Madrid's largest park, with approximately 7 square kilometers of natural space. Originally used as a hunting ground for the Spanish royal family, it is now a great place to relax when you need to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city. 13. Queen Sofia Arts Center, Museo Nacional Centro de Arte Reina Sofia The Queen Sofia Center for the Arts, Museo Nacional Centro de Arte Reina Sofia, is Madrid's 20th century art gallery, which, along with the Prado Museum and Tyson Borne Mist, forms a trio of magnificent museums in the city. The museum has more than 21,000 works of art, including works by Salvador Dali and Joan Miró, but perhaps the most famous is on the second floor. Picasso's Guernica is the highest glory of the museum. 14. Plaza de Sabels Plaza de Sabels is considered the most famous square in Madrid. Located at the crossroads of Alcala Street, leading to Sol, next to Paseo del Prado, 
Paseo de Recorridos, this square is a stunning building and a major tourist attraction. 15. Toledo Toledo, an ancient Roman city that was once considered the most sacred place in Spain, was ruled by Christians, Muslims, and Jews. The city has always been known as a place of forgiveness, and its diversity is evident in buildings such as the Santa Maria La Blanca Synagogue built by Islamic architects for Jewish purposes under Christian rule. 16. El Rostro Market El Rostro is a flea market located in the popular La Latina district of Madrid's historic center. The flea market name El Rostro means the trail and is derived from the leather tanning factory that once existed in the area. When the animals were taken from the slaughterhouse to the tanning factory, they left a trail of blood, hence the name El Rostro. 17. Flamenco in Madrid This classic Spanish dance rhythm travels through the city of Madrid, providing great entertainment for tourists and locals. Flamenco was born in southern Spain, but dancers come to the capital from afar to show off their talents. 18. Devour Madrid Food Tours Discover the local Spanish cooking experience and enjoy the unique way locals eat. You walk down the street with stories in every corner. Drink sweet traditional seasonal cakes, famous fried squid sandwiches, wine and other alcoholic beverages, taste Spanish cheese and ham, and enjoy our secret dishes. 19. Temple of Debit The Temple of Debit, Spanish, Templo de Debit, is an ancient Egyptian temple located in the heart of Madrid, Spain's Montana Park on the Calita Rune Square. 20. Soroya Museum, Museo Soroya The Soroya Museum preserves the original atmosphere of the living room and the study of the painter Joaquin Soroya Bastida, Valencia, 1863 Cercedilla, 1923. It contains the richest collection of his works, colorful paintings that bring out light and vitality. It is one of the most complete and well-preserved artists' homes in Europe. The garden he designed is a beautiful oasis in the city. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.